Off we go. Making chips. doing welcome to an update on the Harrison milling machine uh, let's just put my drink down bear with it. so we're all wired up a couple of things that uh, I'm not happy with is fair to say the uh, work light don't work that's not unusual I need to get in there and check the fuses and the contacts and all the rest of it they often get twizzled the ends get twizzled around that much that it fucks the wiring up and it, then it shorts out and just blows fuses all the time so that needs checking and the switch pump's not working it's no coolant although i filled it up like a dick so there's four gallons of uh, oil and water mixed in the bottom of it on the finger but the good news is it runs and it runs lovely it sounds ever so sweet and I've kind of figured out the controls this one will start the spindle and there it is spinning away that's at 578. The gearbox is really simple. Um, just shut that off. So the belt's in this position. It gives us a red speed. And all we do is have one in the middle and the other one points where you want the speed. Yeah, in the middle. 2000. Just turn the spindle to engage the gear. Now I'm on at 2000 RPM and sounds really really sweet not that i can see me running it that fast 1274 578 is kind of half inch milling tool into mild steel territory which is what i do most of uh, you'd run it faster maybe 800 for aluminium um there you go so that's working okay what well, another thing that i can't work out is the power feed if anyone's watching this who knows these machines the power feed only seems to feed from right to left or left to right depending on which way around you have the wires inside the control box is the only way i've found of reversing it so i need a bit of help with that but it fires up it runs in the spindle and um, we have to disengage this hold on which i can't do one-handed so you're gonna to have to bear with disengage the hand wheel and that will spring out and lock and then press the feed button and that will have it going it's running really slowly because the machine's not running particularly fast but that's doing its thing you get different change gears which i don't have i'm going to start looking for some uh, and maybe get the collection together and then to stop it i stop it at this and it knocks off. Job done. So, yeah. The issue I've got now is uh, the collet holder that came with it is nothing suitable for the tooling I use. It's a lovely old thing. I'm going to keep hold of it. But I've gone to ER32, International 30. So I can use all of my collets. I've also got one for most tapers. So I can use drill chucks and big drills. And I've also got a boring bar head a boring head in that configuration but the draw bar that came out of it is too small these are m12 i believe so uh, the one that came out is m10 so we ain't got a draw bar so i'm going to make one that's next on the agenda i'm going to knock one up out of a nice bit of en8 so it'll be uh, tough enough to last soft enough to care there you go just thanks for watching quick update if you like what you've seen subscribe for further updates if you know anything about these please email me i'd be really grateful because i'm struggling to get any information really and uh big love everyone